village has a bell and I never bothered taking it down. So let me do that now. Okay. Why am I taking down the bell? Because there is pillagers over there. I know I'm probably going to end up having to fight them and I really don't want to. <sighs> okay. Like, I really don't want to fight pillagers right now. And I don't want to end up accidentally getting hit into a raid either, so... You pillagers stay over there while I come over here to work on my trail. That's right. Y'all stay over there. Stay far away from here. Two, three, four, and then... Good job, Yashi, you dummy. Alright, let's check this trail one more time. One. Yeah, that's accurate. Alright, cool. I might not need to go down one more layer, maybe. I don't know, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look. Pull out my sword just in case those pillagers decide to come to this side of the mountain. Because where this sits at, there's a lot of stuff I gotta get through. I'll probably continue it this way and then set a path going down that. <clears throat> sorry, going down that way into the mining area, and then a bridge across. Yeah, so the desert temple is over there. So I'll have to set up some sort of pathway. So right now my pathway is coming this way. I'll probably bridge across. And then a path going down. And then maybe a bridge across that way. And then from there to the temple. I don't know. Or I might just tear that temple down and bring it over here. closer to this island. I mean, it's already a pre-built temple, so I shouldn't have to worry about it too much, right? Right? I mean, it is Minecraft. I've seen stranger shit, so... Alright. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get started on some of our stuff here. So, with that being said, we're going to be setting up... Uh, we're pre-setting our, our garden, basically. So we know we're going to have wheat in this one, because that's what's there. This one... I might do potatoes. When you kill enough zombies, you can get potatoes. So I might just do that. <clears throat> and then this one for carrots. This one for beets. If I get beets. And then this one would be pumpkins. Because I have pumpkins. Or actually, you know what? No, that's what I'll do. I'll stage these out in the manner in which I receive them. So, that is wheat. That is the first food item I received. This is going to be pumpkins. It's the second food item I've received. <coughs> or I could just turn it into a massive sugarcane farm because 
I have sugar cane too. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do is I'll turn this into a sugar cane farm. And turn this into a pumpkin farm. Then turn this into whatever new food item I get. And then this into whatever new food item I get. And then I'll have a whole nother section over here for another food item I get. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, I got I got plans. I got plans. And we still have to make a branch out to this uh, nether portal here somehow. Because I want to build something around that. Because I don't have any diamonds yet, so I can't really just demolish that and remove it. So I'm kind of hesitant on removing that or building around it because I don't know if I'm going to keep it there. I might move it. I don't know. Right now, I'm just doing a quick little spot check on the villagers, see if maybe they left. That would be nice, because they're not over here. Okay, looks like they might have left. Unless they fell in a hole. Does not look like it. Okay. So, pillagers left. They'll probably be back tomorrow, because usually that's what happens. I'll see them one day, I'll go to, quickly go to sleep to avoid them, and then they'll spawn back in my actual base. Uh, okay, let's go. <laughs> Slight distractions, I do apologize. But we need to get back to work here. So, we know that this is here. And I don't have anything in that chest. I just have it preset just in case I rebuild that where it's at. There is a cliff there, do not go that way. Let us work on this stuff. We're going to start moving this down. That's what we're going to do. We're going to start clearing some of this out. Start a pre-leveling system here. squared out somehow. <sighs> All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and start cutting some of this out of here. Now, the biggest problem with doing pre-cuts like this is after you go through all the work to pre-cut stuff out like this, so that way you can get the terraforming situated. Oh, I need more, another shovel. That's fine. I'll go get one right now. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm pre-cutting the landscape, trying to, like, set it up pro uh, properly. The problem with that is even though I'm going through here, I'm like, okay, I could use this sand here. I could use this here. Trying to pre-plan stuff as I go along. The problem with that is once you turn around and you start cutting into it and then you get it all nice and level and whatever, then you realize, hey, you know, technically that would have been a good spot to put said whatever build. And then now you're having to go tear something else down to go rebuild what you just tore down. So that's where we're sitting at. <clears throat> We are trying to build our village, well, mainly our farm, 
first and then we will build our farm after that oh not our farm uh, right now we're building our farm then we'll start working on our village after that and it's getting dark so i need to hurry up and finish this as much as possible <coughs> And that's sandstone. So, don't need that. Alright. Oh, look, my crops are growing so nicely. Alright. That cactus scared me. I thought that was a really tall ass creeper. I was like, bro, where did you come from? Alright, here we go.